Welcome back. In this business finance lecture, we'll go over study problem 8-3 in page 271 from the 8th edition of our textbook. Here's a view of the problem. In this problem, um, the security involved uh, would be a preferred stock and the dividend rate is given as 14% of a certain par value. We are also told that the discount rate or the required rate of return is 12%. Given these facts, we need to find the valuation of this bond. So we'll just go ahead and apply our formulas. So recall that the value of a preferred stock value is equal to uh, the dividend divided by uh, the dividend amount divided by uh, the required rate of return. Now, for this particular example, the dividend amount would be 14% of the par value. So it would be 0.14 times a par value of $100, all divided by a 12% required rate of return. The rest of the problem would be just to calculate that number, which comes out as $116.67 and that would be uh, the answer to the problem. Now recall let me make a couple of comments here. So first of all um, the dividends are fixed for a preferred stock so they are not changing. That won't be the case for common stock where uh, dividend payments to, uh, to shareholders uh, to, to preferred stockholders will uh, will change from period to period depending on the profitability of the firm but that's not the case for preferred stock preferred stock is a hybrid security which has some features which make it look like a bond and some other features which make it look like a common stock and as such uh, the riskiness of preferred stock is considered to be somewhere between bond securities and common stock securities. So that would be um, all about uh, this problem and uh, we are basically done.